from the Zane Scholars Arena, it's time for the Inter-University Battle of Brains. This is the 2010 Zane Africa Challenge. And now, here's the man with the question, Walimu John Sibi of Kumu. Hello and welcome to Africa's international inter-university question and answer championship, the Zane Africa Challenge 2010. A record 100 universities from Ghana, Kenya, Malawi, Nigeria, Sierra Leone, Tanzania, Uganda and Zambia competed in national qualifying tournaments. Now, the last 16 teams are taking part in this 15-game knockout tournament. That is win and stay, lose and leave, but never empty-handed. Let's meet today's players in this first-round game. Entering from my right is the University of Ghana. Kofi Admakon, fourth year Edmund Biology and Conservation Science, Bukum, Ghana. Richie Nachina, by first year Geography and Economics, Boko, Ghana. Lloyd Uswasanti, fourth year Computer Science and Statistics, Accra, Ghana. And now entering is the Zane Scholars team from the University of Arusha, Tanzania. Morris Ngugi, fourth year. Business Administration, Nairobi, Kenya. Shimbi Majo, third year education, Arusha, Tanzania. Martin Munyuko, fourth year business administration, Nairobi, Kenya. A very warm welcome to both our teams. You and your universities will earn a share of over one million US dollars in individual, institutional and travel grants. The outright winners will take away the prestigious Zane Scholars Trophy plus 5,000 US dollars each, plus 50,000 US dollars for their university, all courtesy of Zane. And every week, you at home can play and win valuable prizes in the SMS Zane game. A quick review of the rules. There'll be three rounds of face-off and bonus questions, followed by the final 60-second speed round for each team, which is the ultimate challenge. Now, Kofi, you're first up for the University of Ghana. May I engage you in describing an embarrassing moment? Yeah, I will talk about my driving experience. At the end of my driving lesson, I stepped on the accelerator instead of the brake and the car got into a gutter. <laughs> and <laughs> it took me about seven hours to get the car out of the gutter. There'll be more embarrassing moments to follow, my son, I can assure you. <laughs> the University of Arusha, we have Morris. Yeah. May I engage you in telling me about your favorite dish? Well, John, my favorite dish is mokimo. My traditional language is, uh, means to mash together. It's a dish that's uh, composed of maize and beans. You have potatoes and some pumpkin leaves, well balanced. So I would recommend that, John, for you. Don't recommend it. My wife comes from your part <laughs> of the world, so I eat mokimo quite often. On with the game. Let's take the Zane Africa Challenge, round one. Have a look at the first four categories, and they are Afri Business, African politics, periodic table neighbors, up and down. African politics. African politics it is. Koroma Mills Kikwete, an umbrella with an eagle's head was the symbol of which president's party in his 2008 election bid? Arusha. Mills. That is correct for 20 bonus points. Liberia, Mali, Sudan. In December 2009, which nation's SPLM announced its symbol for coming elections would be a yellow star in a blue triangle? Sudan. That is correct for 20 bonus points. Morris, choice of category, please. African politics. African politics it is. In December 2009, which nation's new capital party, COPE, celebrated its first anniversary in the town of Kimberley? <laughs> University of Ghana. South Africa. That is correct for 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. COPE stands for what of the what? Coalition of the people 
I'm going to give you 10 points because it actually stands for Congress of the People, bringing your total to 20 against Sarusha's 30. Coffee, choice of category, please. Periodic table news. It is. Above lithium and to the left of helium, you'll find which element? The only one that usually has no neutrons. Arusha. Hydrogen. That is correct for 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. Which two metals with symbols CU and AG are directly above gold on the periodic table? Copper. And? And uh, agro. No, the correct answer is copper and silver. You have 10 points, giving you a total of 50. Morris, choice of category, please. Up and down. Up and down it is. Up holster, up field, up draft, which is an air current that helps birds stay aloft. <coughs> University of Ghana. Up draft. That is correct for 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. Which word ending in down one precedes a rocket launch? Countdown. That is correct yeah, for 10 points. Two is a catastrophic nuclear plant failure. Meltdown. That is correct for 20 points, giving you totals of 50 points each. Coffee, choice of category, please. Afri Business. Afri Business it is. Which African nation south of the equator joined OPEC in 2007? <coughs> University of Arusha. Angola. That is correct for 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. Much of Angola's oil is offshore from which region north of the Congo River? Kambinda. That is correct. Two. Which country north of there was an OPEC member Libya. from 1975 to 1994? Li Libya? No, the correct answer is Gabon, but you do have 10 points, giving you a total of 70 against Ghana's 50. Morris, choice of category, please. Afri Business. It is. Ethiopia receives payment for use of the names Hara and Sidamo, types of which popular beverage? <coughs> Ghana? Beer. No, I'm turning it round to the University of Arusha. Coffee. That is correct for 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. Royalties of those names were negotiated by the EIPO, Ethiopia's office for protecting which rights abbreviated IP? Property. Intellectual property. That is correct for 20 points. End of round one. <laughs> the score stands at 100 points for the University of Ghana against 100 for the University of Arusha, Tanzania. With the team's first appearance on the Zane Africa Challenge 2010, we'll showcase their university. So here's a profile of the University of Ghana. The University of Ghana is not only the oldest and largest of the Ghanaian public universities, but also one of the most prestigious universities in West Africa. Its vision is geared to meeting national development priorities and global challenges through quality teaching, learning, research and unique programs. University programs in the liberal arts, social sciences, basic science, agriculture and medicine are complemented by the addition of technology-based and vocational courses and postgraduate training. The University of Ghana has been awarded for its outstanding facilities and competencies in academics and core curricular activities. There is no doubt that students at the University of Ghana are well equipped to interact with others and develop lifelong associations. University of Ghana. Progress with integrity.